Chris, 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 Chris. Tom, 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 Tom. <laughs> we found our first rider today, Bill, a young 74. <laughs> what bike do we have here today? A high bike, All Mountain Pro. It's a 2016 model. Um, it does me great, I absolutely love it. First time I went on it, big smile on my face. Never stopped since. And that's just fantastic, fantastic piece of kit. And electric bikes are great for people of illnesses or, or uh, injury or age. Beauty. And Take how- 30 years off my life. How many years off your life? Take 30 years off my life, I yeah, great. Yeah, perfect, yeah. perfect. Now, how long have you had this bike for? Yeah, since 2016. And what have yeah. you done to it since? Uh, I've fitted a lockout in the front, which is a waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> and I've, I've just fitted a new drop seat uh, post, because I uh, didn't like the, that went faulty. Um, the, the usual replacement of back sprockets and front sprockets. And that's very, really, I've replaced the motor twice, because I use it a lot and it gets really wet. Now, I did notice you've put the lockouts on here. There's yeah. a bit of a spaceship up here. Yeah. Control board. It is, yeah. What else is happening up here? What does that thing do? That's on my sat, my, uh, sat map. It's when I'm going uh, long distance touring into the, the highlands. I have my sat map there. Uh huh. My, my GPS system. I replaced the back shock and I put, I tell you what, did I put far bigger tyres on? Really massive tyres, Magic Marys. What are they? The three, po three yeah, inch wide tyres? The, the biggest I could get on. So then, if you were to pick a favourite part of the bike, what would it be? Just the power. The power. Motor, just the, just the, the fact that I can get uphill and I'm not knackered at the, at the top. Yep. I still have to work. Oh I yeah. I still have to work it. Oh yeah. Keeps you fit and honest. It keeps me fit. But it was bloody awesome having you out here. 74 years young. Now I do have to ask though, oh. what's in the backpack? You've got the track a pump. pump. Because yep. I've got a slow in the back. <laughs> <laughs> the yogurt bars. Tools, masses of tools. <laughs> because I was down here coming down from Spooky Woods one time, one of the cranks flew off. Oh my God, that was a bit of a, <laughs> bit of a nightmare. <laughs> and uh, so I carry loads of tools. Yeah. The, you know, the real mountain bikers don't carry anything, do they? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if they're they real mountain bikers. The or are they silly mountain bikers? I mean, you've yeah. clearly got the protection, you've got well, the neck brace on uh, there. Two, two years ago, I was pretty well paralyzed. I was in a wheelchair, then I was on a Zimmer, then I was in crutches, it took me a year to get back to my other sports and the biking. So my physio said I must wear a neck brace because this helmet stops the neck going back. So I've got to protect myself. I've got to protect the skeleton and the muscles. I look a bit stupid, but I don't care. That's so good, That's Bill. So you've had the bike since 2016. Yeah. Paralyzed two years ago. Yeah. And now you're back out back riding. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. You've got to keep going. Thank yeah. you very much yeah, for taking the time. It's been a pleasure. No, it really has I'm been a treat. I'm about doing this, but I'm glad I did it. Thank you very much, Bill. <laughs> we'll let you go to keep these young whippers. <laughs> yeah, keep the young Yeah, because you know, they just can't keep up. That's the problem. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, guys. Beauty. Uh, well, we've found another car park culprit, Kobe. How are we doing today? We've got your large check slash here. Where'd you get it? Oh, I bought it for my friend. He's he's a gearhead and he he's kept this bike up great and he let me ride it for a couple months and I loved it, so I bought it off him. What have you done to it since you bought it off your mate? What did he sell you? He sold me a beautiful bike with the worst dropper I've ever seen. It would go a few weeks and then it would leak too much oil to, to keep using and I swapped it out for the one-up uh, V2, which I love. Beauty. Um, other than that, the bike's been great. Um, it needs a new cassette one day and a new chain, but this thing runs like a beauty for its age. I mean, look, while we're looking at the cassette there, what's going on uh, with that chain guard there? It's no good to you. Oh, well, the chain kept falling off. I was like, maybe the chain guard's the problem, and it was. So I took the chain guard <laughs> wait, off. Wait, 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 hey, Kobe, hang on. No, no, it says guide. <laughs> it's not a guide. It kicks it off. I don't know. Oh, that makes total sense. The oh, chain yeah. guide was keep knocking the chain off, so you took off the chain guide, and, and it, the chain now stays on. It hasn't fallen off since. Okay, I mean, I don't know why they don't put that in the marketing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, perfect, okay. What else have you done to it since you bought it? Not much. Um, I had to replace one spoke and I still need to replace another. Uh, last time I replaced the spoke, I put the tire on backwards, which is great, but it's back back to normal now. <laughs> um, but I haven't done it under. I got this, I got this um, fender that I love. Okay, okay, oh, a bit of color. Yeah. Yeah. And what, when we're talking forks, the Mizaki, what is it? This thing is a beauty. I don't know exactly which line it is. It's a 350 something, but it's it's a coil fork and it just it runs so beautifully. The sound it makes when you when you use it, you know it's working. I love this fork. Perfect. Oh. And we've got the zip tie oh, yeah. sago meter. Oh, love yeah. that. Make it work. And no, then we don't do our rings around here. The other add-on I see here. What have these zip ties done to? You don't want to lose your bolts, do you? You've got to zip tie everything up. I don't know. <laughs> I've, I've heard the bolts just like tend to fall off and they're irreplaceable, so. 
Uh, my, my, when my friend who sold this to me, he kept them zip tied on. So better safe than sorry. Oh yeah, better safe than sorry. <laughs> so good, perfect. Well, thanks Katie. What a Thanks, beauty Adam. of a bike. I'm glad we got to see it and meet you. Yeah. Have a good rest of your weekend. Thank you. <laughs> All right, now we're here with Scott with this absolutely amazing bowhead adaptive bike. Scott, how's it going today? What trails are you riding? I am mostly doing crank it up. Yeah. That's my favorite. Okay. How long have you had this thing? Uh, almost two years now. Yeah. And I mean, it looks like a ton of fun. Do you get up to Whistler on this often or um, what, do you, what do you end up doing on this? Last year uh, was my first year get yep. on the bike park. Yep. And, but if, when it's closed, I usually go up to Squamish, do some trails up there like uh, Suda Suga or, okay. or Mickey's Magic. It's really fun. Yeah. Okay. Now the one thing I notice on this is that it's actually narrower than some of the other adaptive bikes that I've seen out there. So does this let you get on some more technical, tighter trails? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there's some nice technical trails I can do in Whistler here. Yeah. That you know, because it handles the independent the steering. I mean, yeah. It can, swivels. Can you just can you do that? Can you show the people how it moves? Yeah. Look at that. So when you're going down the hill and, and there's rocks and it's all uneven, this thing's just going like this. Yeah. Independent you suspension it. on both sides. Yeah. Yeah. And I also noticed that when you're leaning side to side, the geometry is it's correcting itself as well too. Like the tires are staying how they're supposed to stay and yeah. preserve the handling and exactly. Yeah. It's just when I'm coming to a corner or a berm, I just drop the hip. Yeah. And then it just takes you around. Wow, amazing. Nice. So hidden in here are also some suspension elements. There's a tiny SR Sun Tour shock on each side and there's also a Fox shock on the back. And you said it's got five inches of travel? I think it's about five, yeah. Yeah, okay. And then it's also motorized as well. There's a small motor on the back. So, I mean, that probably opens up a ton of stuff for you. You could probably just go a lot of places, you know? Definitely, yeah. Some rock faces, climbs, right? Yeah. And, and get up and yeah, it's nice. All right, Scott, so what happens when you come up to a jump on this thing? What are you, what are you doing? Well, you know, you first uh, just, you stake out the jumps, make sure the jumps are, you know, okay. Yeah. And you just take it a little faster every time. And, you know, cause it's so heavy, the front end, sometimes if you don't have a long transition, yeah. it'll just, the front oh, end will come it down. It gets you, it gets you kicked. Yeah, yeah. you'll kick up. Yeah. So if it's a nice long one, you'll, you'll pop up and you'll land nice. Yeah, okay. Are you going down A-line and stuff? Like when A-line is open, it's not open today, but are you going down A-line? I've this? done it, you know, but. I have, I haven't done the jumps because like, they're long jumps yeah, compared yeah. to crank it up where I don't have to go as fast. Yeah, exactly. You know, and then to hit it down on the descent, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, Scott, this thing is absolutely amazing. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah. You're going to go do a lap. I'm going to go do a lap. We'll see you around. Okay, Mike. Okay, take, take care. care. Well, here we are with uh, Chris, 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 Chris. Tom, 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 Tom. <laughs> How are we doing? We've got, <laughs> All right. buddy, good. We've got you and your Bron dog. Yeah, yeah. In Santa Cruz, Bronson. Mm -hmm. What size is it and how long have you had it? Well, it's a medium. Um, I've had the frame since October. Some other bits have migrated over from a previous bike. Beauty. Well, you looked after it, buddy, well. <laughs> Apart from the dirty. <laughs> well, it means you've been riding, that's good. <laughs> but let's start with these stickers, because there's a few right. of them, and let's start yeah, up the top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Frank Zappa, because it's Frank the Tank. And, um, yeah, Zappa's music is just legendary. I've also got some mint sauce stuff, so from MBUK. Beauty. Yeah, there's the little sheep that rides the mountain. The bike. cartoon. Yeah, yeah, the cartoon. Yeah. yeah, and he's hiding back here as yeah, well. Yeah, you got one sneakily on the inside yeah, of, the yeah. of the stay yeah. there. Perfect. Yeah. Blue shifter cable. Yeah, blue shifter cables. Favorite well, color? Yeah, not really. Just a highlight to go with the, the, the writing. Other end of the spectrum, I see something okay. that's brand new on here, those rotors. Yeah, rotors are new, the pads are new. Um, started working about halfway down the hill today, which was good. <laughs> Perfect. So, you know, <laughs> managed to slow down at some point. Yeah, that's all good stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good old Renthal bars. You know what, the bars look pretty narrow and you're obviously a local. Well, I hear you have to cut them down Yeah, here. yeah. What are they? Just, these are, I cut them down to 750. 750s, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were at 800 and just gradually, just because how tight things are, mm -hmm. you can just clip something and end up flipping. So yeah. I've seen all the pros this week getting the hacksaws yeah. out. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. Beauty. Yeah. Well, Chris, oh, thank excellent. you very much, mate. No worries. Thanks for showing my bike. Mate, it's a real pleasure. Yeah. Well, have a good ride. Make it down the hill in uh, one piece. I'll try. Thanks, mate. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> well, it would not be a complete daily drivers out here on the North Shore without a Norco range. We saw this one in the parking lot here, and turns out Andrea works for the company. So he's going to give us the full rundown on this range. Maybe let's start with the size. Okay, so I'm a five foot seven in a good in a good day. So I'm running a size medium, 29 front and rear of course, because it's a full 29er frame. I'm running 
Uh, we are one union on Onyx Hub, so like the silent hub with a magnetic clutch. So like it's an engagement, uh, zero free up noise. Uh, Drivetrain wise, I'm on a Miss and Match XX1 GX do do <laughs> uh, supply chain issue. Uh, XX1 Axis on uh, normal controller and uh, GX cassette on X01 uh, chain and X1 cranks. 32 uh, tooth chain ring. I can creep down rocks on code RSC with um, carbon levers. I like the carbon levers feel. Rolling on um, Maxxis DHR2 Max Grip double down and Asagai double down um, Max Grip as well. Nice. And what kind of pressures are you running to get the maximum traction? 20, out here? 23 rear and 19 front. Mm -hmm. I'm uh, 140 pounds. I'm attached to Ergon. Um, GD1 Evo grips and SM1 saddle match with a uh, 1-up bar and stem 30 mil length for the stem 35 mil clamp cut down to 73 mil that makes it effective 740 Whoop. and then I'm on Fox suspension like a 38 Kashima and a DHX in the rear I'm running 69 and a 420 spring yeah. and uh, head Good unit project. I'm running the um, Wahoo Bolt V2 so I can uh, know what gear am I in because it's all synced with um, with uh, with the derailleur. So you don't have to look back. It's like, do I have one more? And like, you just look here. And uh, VHS uh, slapper tape keeps my bike uh, nice and quiet. Stumbled across MK here in the bushes. Uh, <laughs> how would you introduce yourself, MK? Uh, I'm MK. I'm a cat mom, I love the jazzling, I play with electricity, and I'm here in the woods today. Perfect, and we've got you here with your specialized status. Mm -hmm. What mm -hmm. size of it? Well, uh, what size is it, and how long have you had it? It's a small, I've had it for about a year and a half. Yeah, she's done me good. Nice, what have you done to it since you've got it? Well, it was built fully custom, which is great. So it's good to know and marry someone who works at a bike shop. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what you know. Yeah, it's who you sleep with. Um, uh, yeah, so she's fully custom. Um, I think she's got XT rolly bits. Yeah, I'll buy that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I'll say that. Mm -hmm. uh, some code, code RSs. It's a good, uh, I like to call it a mechanics bike because the mechanic built it. It doesn't have the, it's not the flashiest but it will last me a long time and it gets the job done. It's kind of like the builder's house analogy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah there's yeah, yeah. always something going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's not carbon and it doesn't need to be. MK, yes. if there's one part of this bike that is your favorite, mm. what would it be? Uh, I think it would have to be the chain that is minimally lubed oh. for obvious reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Such as? Um, you know, you don't, you need a lot of lube to make things go smoothly, Tom. <laughs> Stop oh. making it weird. <laughs> I'm learning so many lessons in America. <laughs> Tell us about this shaka here. Oh, I didn't even know what you were pointing at. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is just a little personal touch from my dear husband who built this bike. Um, so, but next we'll probably, actually that's a great point. Next we've been threatening to get custom fenders with pictures of our cat on them. So that will probably be next. Well. You seem busy. I'll let you get back to your <laughs> cross stitching cats and whatever else fills in afternoon. Yeah. Love yeah. it. Thanks, perfect. mate. Thanks, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, perfect. You've got the track. A pump. Roughly about 45, 50 psi. Holy s. <laughs>